In this video, I will show you how to solve some real-world problems that can be modeled by conic sections, like parabolas. Alright, now we have a couple of real-world problems. The reflector of a flashlight is in the shape of a parabolic surface, so parabola. The casting has a diameter of 4 inches and a depth of 2 inches. How far from the vertex should the light bulb be placed? Alright, so here's my parabolic shaped part of a flashlight. Alright, the casting is like the little part that's shaped like a bowl and the light, the light bulb is inside of there. They're telling us that the diameter is 4 inches. So um, that means that if I measured from one side to the other, that's going to be 4 inches. They're saying that uh, it has a depth of 2 inches. So that means if I uh, drew a line like straight down like this, this has a depth of 2 inches. Okay, from the bottom to the top, that's two inches. So let's take this parabola and put it on a coordinate axis. Let's put it on a coordinate plane. Okay, let's put it on a grid. So here's my parabola. And let's see, let's just put some values down. Okay, so here's what we have. Let's go ahead and put the vertex at 0 comma 0. That'll make our lives easier. Um, let's go ahead and just let each mark on here represent 1 inch. So what we have is a parabola where if I go up at a height of 2, then I would have to go two to the right and two to the left to form the parabola because it has to be four inches across at this depth. So I have a parabola that is shaped like this. Okay, this is my parabola. So I have two points that I have here. Um, so I have the point two comma two is on the parabola. Of course I have 0 comma 0 for the vertex and I have negative 2 comma 2. So I need to figure out what the equation of this parabola is so that I can figure out what P is um, and so I can find the focus. The, uh, the light bulb should be at the focus. So I need, to f I need the equation so I can figure out the P value so I can place the focus so I can know where the bulb should be. So here's the thing. Um, the way I've drawn it, I mean I could have drawn it horizontally, but I drew it vertically. So um, my model for this will have to be uh, the version that has x squared. So normally we say x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k not squared. But since the center is 0 comma 0, that makes h and k 0. So I don't really need the h and the k. So let me just rewrite this. So now it becomes um, x squared is equal to 4p uh, times y. So this is going to be my model for this. Well, look, I can pick one of these two points um, to substitute into the equation and find the p-value. So um, I'm just going to choose the 2 comma 2 since everything is positive. If I take the 2 comma 2 and I plug that in for x and y, that'll give me 2 squared is equal to 4p times 2. So that gives me 4 is equal to um, 8, 8p. Okay, 4 times 2, so that's going to be, let me just re rewrite it. So multiplying the 4 times 2, I get 8p. Uh, if I divide both sides by 8, um, 
I'm going to get uh, that P is one half. Well, the P value is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So that means that the focus should be right here at one half inch above the vertex. So um, that's going to be the answer to the question, right? Because of this P value being half of an inch, um, I'll just say that the bulb should be one half inch away from the vertex. The towers of the Golden Gate Bridge connecting San Francisco to Marin County are 1,280 meters apart and rise 160 meters above the road. The cable between the towers has the shape of a parabola and the cable just touches the sides of the road midway between the two towers. What is the height of the cable 200 meters from a tower round to the nearest meter? Okay, so here's a picture of what was described in the problem. The towers are 1,280 meters apart and each tower rises 160 meters above the road. In order to figure out the height of the cable 200 meters from a tower, it would be useful to have an equation for this parabola. So it's up to us to decide where we want to place the parabola on the coordinate plane. We could draw the axis so that the vertex is at the origin, 0 comma 0. Or we could draw the axis so that um, the origin is over here in the left corner. So I'm going to choose to go ahead and draw it so that the um, the x-axis is here. But instead of letting the vertex be at 0 comma 0, I'm going to let the y-axis be here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because they want the height of the cable 200 meters from a tower. So they're giving us um, a distance, an x value, 200 meters away from a tower. So I really want my tower to be at the beginning of my graph so that my x value will automatically uh, be 200. So um, that means my vertex, which is right here. This is not going to be at 0 comma 0. Um, it's halfway. It's half of this 1,280. So that's going to be 640. So the coordinates of this vertex are 640 comma 0. Because this is a vertical parabola, I'm going to definitely have the model that has the x squared. The, um, the x squared version is the version that you always have when you have a vertical parabola. So x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k. This is the, uh, the, the model that we're going to use for this. h and k are the coordinates of the vertex. So I'm going to have x minus 640 squared is equal to 4p times uh, y minus k. Well, it'll just be y because k is 0. So before I can have a valid equation, I need to figure out what p is. And the way I'm going to figure out what p is, is um, I'm going to pick one more point on this parabola that I know uh, that I can find and I'm going to plug it in and use it to, to find P. So, um, for example, this point right here, this is a point that I know the value of. This is the point 0, 160. Because the tower is 160 meters tall and, I, and this is right on the y-axis. 
So this is an X and a Y that I can use if I want. So if I plug in these two values for X and Y, that should help me figure out what P is. Uh, and I think I'll do that off to the side. Okay, I'll make a new thing. So substituting in 0 and 160, then I will have, um, the X will go away because it's 0. So I, that will make this negative 640 squared, okay, that's 0, is equal to 4P times 160. So I should be able to solve this for P. So let's see. Okay, negative 640 squared is 40,000, no, is 409,600. So that's equal to, um, now I'm doing 4 times 160, um, which is going to be 640. So then I've got the P. So I multiplied that, but I still got the P. So of course, to get P, I'm going to divide both sides by 640. And this is going to give me the value of P. So P is 640. So I can now take the 640 and substitute it back into the equation for P, like right here. All right, so this is 4 times 640 now. So let's see, 4 times 640 is 2,560. So my new equation is x minus 640 squared is equal to 2,560y. So this is my equation for this parabola. So now I want to know uh, what the y value is, the height of the cable, um, when the x value is 200. So I purposely, purposefully set this up so that uh, 200 meters away from a tower, that's just going to be the x value um, if I go 200 away from the tower. I'm just talking about the x value of this parabola. So um, in other words, all I need to do is plug in x, plug in 200 for x, and find y. So let me just recopy this and uh, do the work again. So the equation I came up with is x minus 640 squared is equal to 2,000 560y. All right, this is my equation for the parabola. Because of the 200 feet, uh, sorry, 200 meters, that's going to be my x value. So I will, I will have 200 minus 640 squared is equal to 2560y. So, of course, 200 minus 640 is going to be negative 440. Um, if you take negative 440 and square it, you're going to get 193,600. So of course, to get the y value, I'm going to go on and divide both sides by 2,560. So let's see, divided by 2,560. So I am getting 75.6. Five. And uh, all this is measured in meters. So they said round to the nearest meter. So if I round to the nearest meter, then my final answer is going to be uh, 76 meters.
Let's do one more real world problem. A bridge passing over a river is in the shape of a parabolic arch, a parabola. The highest point of the arch is 50 feet above the water surface at the center of the arch and is 200 feet wide at the arch's base. Will a boat 30 feet tall clear the arch if the boat attempts to pass below the bridge when the boat is 30 feet from the center of the bridge. Let's draw. Here's a picture of the situation. We've got our bridge, our parabolic bridge, that's 50 feet high at the center and 200 feet wide at the base. We want to know how high the bridge is 30 feet from the center. If we go 30 feet to the left or to the right, how high will it be? And uh, is it more than 30 feet tall? Will the boat fit? So um, we need to put this picture on a coordinate plane. We need to put an xy axis in here. Now let's see if you can understand why I'm going to put the coordinate axis right down the center. You know, last time we did a problem I put my um, the origin off to the left. I didn't put it in the middle where the vertex is. Um, that's because in the problem they asked, um, they were talking about how far we were away from a, one of the towers, how far we are from the side. This time they're asking how far, they're talking about um, 30 feet from the center. So um, I need the y-axis to be at the center so um, my equation can be used to find distances from the center. Okay, so my y-axis will be right down the middle. Um, that was pretty crooked. Let me try one more time. And if it's crooked this time, too bad. So right down the center. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm just going to, this will be my x-axis. Okay, let's go. So, what are the coordinates of this point right here at the top? So, remember, this is 50 feet high. So, this is the point 0, 50. That is also the vertex of the parabola, so good to know. Remember that the total distance from here to here was 200. So that means this is 100 feet um, right here. You know, from the center to one side, that's 100 feet. All right, um, put another way, this is the point 100 comma zero right here. Okay, um, that might be everything I need to do this problem right now. So um, my goal is to come up with a formula, a function representing the height of this parabola at any value of x. This is a vertical parabola. So that tells me that I'm going to use the version of the parabola formula, formula that um, involves x squared. So we're talking about x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k not squared. We always do x squared when the parabola opens up or down. Now, the h and the k is the vertex. Um, so h is 0 and k is 50. If I put in 0 for h, then I get x squared. So now I have x squared equals 4p times, and then k is 50. So that's y minus 50. So we've got this so far. Now I need to find p. In order to find p, I need one more point on this parabola anywhere that I can plug in and then I can find p. Well, we just happen to have a point right here, 100 comma 0. That's a point on the parabola. Let's use it to figure out what p is. I'm going to do that in purple off to the side. Okay, so let's start over. I'm going to pick up where I left off. I have x squared 
is equal to 4p times y minus 50, all right? Um, but now I have an x and a y, 100 and 0. So if I put in 100 for x, I've got 100 squared is equal to 4p. If I put in 0 for y, then I've got negative 50. So this is going to be negative 200p. 100 squared, that So I've got 10,000 equals negative 200p. 4 times negative 50 is negative 200. So to find p, I need to divide both sides by negative 200. Um, OK, so that's going to be <clears throat> negative 50. P is negative 50. Now I'm going to take this value of P and substitute it back into the equation right here. And then I will have the equation that I need, the equation of this bridge parabola. So substituting in negative 50 for P, then I will have X squared is equal to 4 times negative 50 times y minus 50. So that's x squared is equal to negative 200 times y minus 50 times y minus 50. Bam! That's it. All right, this is an equation for this parabola. I can use this to find um, the, the height y for any value of x that I want. So I want to know what the height of the bridge will be 30 feet from the, from the center. OK, so in other words, OK, so let's say 30 feet from the center is right about here. OK, so let's say this is 30 feet from the center because this is a hundred feet over here this is 30 feet so in other words if X is 30 what is the Y value because the Y value should be the height so that's what we're finding the Y value when X is equal to 30 so we just take our brand new equation and plug in 30 for X and then see what we get for Y all right, let's check it out and see. Um, so if I plug in 30, then now I have 30 squared is equal to negative 200 times y minus 50. So um, you know what? I think I'll do this in its own column. I'm going to recopy it over here. OK, so I've got 30 squared is equal to negative 200 times y minus 50. And I'm just going to solve this for y. So 30 squared is going to be 900. So now I'm just going to divide both sides by negative 200. So I've got negative 4.5 is equal to y minus 50. So of course now I will just add 50 to both sides. And this is going to give me y is equal to Oops, oh, I messed that up. I'm trying to write 45.5, but I'm messing it up. All 
All right, so 45.5 feet. That is the height of the bridge 30 feet away from the center. Um, so that is tall enough that a 30-foot boat will fit. Whenever you finish a real-world problem, you should make a nice summary statement. So the bridge is 45.5 feet high, 30 feet from the center. So the boat will fit through there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.